YouTube, welcome back to the channel. In today's video, we're going to be looking at how you could be making coins this weekend on FC24 with Winter Wildcard Team 2. We're also going to be looking at expected content with player SBCs and what casino SBCs we may be getting this weekend. But before we get into all that, we got to talk about content today on Thursday. If you want to have millions of coins in EAFC like me, go to u7buy.com for cheap, fast, and reliable coins. Make sure you use code Teddy at checkout to get 6% off your order. Link is in the description down below. Content today on Thursday was pretty basic. Also, apologies for this video being so late. I had a game every Thursday. I'm in a men's league. We have games. So if I don't get the video done before the game, it's a late one. And um, we won the game. I scored a goal, you know, nice little fake run, front post, fall back, far post, headed it in, you know, no biggie, no biggie. But uh, let's go back to back to business content. What did we get? It was really simple. Uh, marquee matchups is every Thursday. This was probably one of the worst marquee matchups I've seen trading wise. It like nothing moved. Uh, the, some of the players, Liverpool, Newcastle was pretty obvious. Um, they were up already though, before the SBC even came out. Cause I mean, one, I think it was leaked, but two Liverpool, Newcastle was obvious. Um, I, I didn't find much rising. So nothing too crazy there. Marquee matchups. And then we got immobile. And his name suits his card. Uh, this guy never really gets a good card in this game. Four star skills, five star weak foot, which is decent. But like his body type, the way he is in game, it's it's not worth it. I think he's 120,000 coins, three squads, 84, 84, and 85. One of them requiring a team of the week. It's just not worth it unless you're for some reason an immobile fan. But <clears throat> there's not many of those out there. We did not get a new Evo today. I don't believe we had any new objectives. I could be wrong. Uh, there were lightning rounds today in the store, but the lightning rounds in the store were untradeable. So supply, we did not get the 84 times 10. So there was not much supply today. No tradable lightning rounds. And we saw stuff go up in price because of that. Our fodder, our team of the weeks did pretty decent. Uh, if you had any 84s, 85s, 86s still, they're up in price a good amount. Same thing with the 83s. If you still have your fodder, you always want to get out of it before Friday. Sometimes, randomly, maybe something comes out on Friday and, and your fodder can go up a decent amount. Or like the icon player pick can, is refreshing tomorrow on Friday. But most of the time, you want your stuff gone before content drop on Friday. Because content drops on Friday, you get a bunch of packs being opened. You have people playing foot champs. You have lightning rounds. You really don't want to hold fodder. And if you do hold your fodder ever into content drop on a Friday, you want to have it sold like quickly after content drop you don't want to be waiting a while so if you have a fodder I, I do want to mention i told you guys this week to buy 84s when they were like 1400 coins you are making a thousand coins per card there i told you guys to buy the 85s when they were 37 they're 5600 probably easy at 5700 we bought 86s for i think six seven i sold mine for seven eight seven nine they sell pretty easily at that price but you were supposed to sell them on sunday when they went to seven eight seven nine uh 83s we were just kind of trading with these buy for 850 list for 1100 it's a low budget move you only make like 200 coins per card but it's constant profit but kind of a pain in the butt uh so that's fodder really good week with trading i also told you guys to buy team of the weeks we bought team of the weeks yesterday thirty six thousand coins i didn't do it myself i played my rivals games i got my wins and then i i pretty much went to bed and that was it for me it's just i i don't have the ambition as much to trade as i did in the previous fifa 23 i don't have that drive i guess Wow, Team of the Weeks are back down in price a little bit. But these guys went from 36k all the way up to 40,000 40, coins. They were, I think, like instantly selling at 39.5, 39.75, around there. So we talked about it. Uh, my prediction was they would go to around 40,000 coins. And that's pretty much exactly what happened. Now, there is a chance these Team of the Weeks do rise tomorrow on Friday. But personally, I, I wouldn't risk holding my Team of the Weeks into tomorrow on Friday. I told you guys you want your Team of the Weeks sold at content whether you're making coins or losing coins you want your cards sold today on thursday i don't want to hold them into friday um this does refresh how many team of the week requirements two two team of the week requirements in this which is not bad that could help them but we also have the 83 plus team of the week sbc expiring and we'll probably get a new one and if they make it cheap they could very well make it cheap i don't know if this is the cheaper one 
this might be actually the cheaper one, but I, they could make it cheaper is basically what I'm trying to say. I don't know how they would, but they could, and that could hurt team of the week. So usually you want your team of the weeks gone. It's the safe play. You could gamble, but the safe play, sell your team of the weeks, and we can look to buy back in this weekend. We'll get into that again in a little bit, but, uh, let's go into just the market in general the market is up in price we bought team of the weeks for 36k they went to 40k good profit there our fodder obviously did good kind of disappointed i didn't call out some winter wild cards though to be honest because i i should have probably thought about doing it they are all up in price it's like hey wednesday's the low rival rewards the market does tend to rise after rival rewards but i was hoping lightning rounds on thursday tradable lightning rounds would make them drop we didn't get the tradable lightning rounds they stayed up in price like ball day we kept watching this ball day drop below 60k and go back up to 65 and i was hoping for it again but now the dude's over 70 000 coins i will say we were still looking to buy ball day for 70 000 coins we were still looking to buy marco royce i thought this one was interesting this dude below 33k is so close to 89 overall fodder but we do have some spcs coming out that could help him goretzka could help him rise I think Adeyemi could help him rise and I think there was a third player but I don't remember who it was so low risk he's close to fodder price where why am I looking here oh 89 overall fodder he's the cheapest 89 overall fodder so simple as that it's a very low risk one maybe he rises maybe he doesn't but while I wait for him to rise you can see uh, I didn't buy too many. I was just casually sniping him during the Arsenal game, but I listed for 37.5. I got a sale. Awesome. Uh, oh, I do have a team. I forgot to sell this team of the week. I had a team of the week in my club. I don't know. Did I buy him? I did. I bought him when I told you guys to buy for like 32, 33 earlier. But uh, back to the market. So the market's up in price. People are building their teams for foot champs. Um, simple as that. It will probably stay up or even continue to rise into tomorrow on friday but cards that are in packs it's usually how it always works cards that are in packs on friday when content drops you have all those lightning rounds new promo team pack supply cards go down in price it's as simple as that so if you have players that are in packs you don't want to hold them it, especially if you have someone i know a few of you guys bought putelas putelas gold van dyke gold they are out of packs but they're going back into packs when their, their team because they're in winter wildcard team one they're going they aren't going to be in packs anymore so the golds are going back into packs so you don't want to hold you don't want to hold cards like that uh just any players in packs like we have some of the best of players i know vinicius jr i had a few people asking me about vinicius jr he's still in packs the best of team they are still in packs i think until like monday or something i don't know the exact date we can probably see it here Let's just take a peek on this screen. My webcam might block it, but here we go. So that Winter Wildcard Team 1, obviously out of packs tomorrow on Friday. Winter Wildcard Team 2 is still in packs for a whole nother week. Do not want to hold those guys. Those are the ones that came out on Christmas. And then best of are out for another three days, 13 hours. So I think that's Monday. You don't want to hold those cards either because it's going to be another weekend of supply, another foot champs, another whole set of lightning rounds over the weekend of supply. So don't want to hold those cards. Stuff that's out of packs like the Marco Royce or players going out of packs. That is fine. The Marco Royce, the ball day. Uh, when you do buy cards though, like any of these, because these are the cards right here that are going to be going out of packs. When you're buying these, if you're buying them for your team or as an investment, they're obviously up in price, so it's riskier now, but just look ahead at the leaks and see, okay, what's coming out? Are there players in their position that could hurt your card? Are there SBCs coming out that could hurt your card? Or could they benefit? Like for Balde, Kunde is getting a card. For Rafinha, Kunde is getting a card. That helps Balde, that helps Rafinha. For Royce, we talked about the Adeyemi, we talked about the Goretzka that could help marco royce and think about evos as well in certain positions because that could hurt some cards so if you are looking to buy any i'm not going to call anything out too specific we just watched marco royce for below 33 because it's these fodder price it's so low risk and ball day 70k flat but he's obviously up in price a little bit now i, was, I really wanted him to go below 60 again but we missed out on that but it's okay because we did team of the weeks and we made profit there so all good um now we talked about not holding those cards going in packs that are still in packs going into friday sell before content drop on friday we talked about how we bought a few marco royces you obviously saw that and let's go over fodder we kind of went over it 
I don't, we went over it in the beginning of the video. I don't really have to go over it anymore. Uh, sell your fodder and can I talk about investing in them? We sold fodder, sold team of the weeks. Now let's talk about making coins. Yeah, we just went over everything that you guys might have. So making coins, how are we going to do it? How are we going to make coins this weekend? Friday is always so easy. Now, if you guys remember last Friday, you're going to see right here, this is what happened. This is what happened last Friday. 86s were like 8,000 coins at the time, and I got 4,800 coins, 4,500 coins, 3,700 coins, 3,900 coins, 3,700 coins, 5,000 coins, 4,200. I got all these cards on Friday because of all the pack supply and the filters that we use. There's easy bidding filters. If you bid at the right time, you can get cards for so cheap. These cards are, what, 7.5, and you see all these deals that I got. So... Tomorrow on Friday, I will say I don't expect it to be as good as last week. I don't, but it could still be decent and we could see cards coming down in price. I am hoping most specifically that the 84 times 10 lightning round comes out again because that's tradable. A lot of people open that pack and that 84 times 10 brings a lot of supply to every single fodder 84 and higher. If you guys were in the stream on Friday, I'll obviously be talking you guys through it. I'll be live tomorrow on Friday if you want to come through to the stream. If you bid an hour after content drop, you have content drops 1 p.m. Eastern Standard, 1 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. Everybody's opening packs. The lightning rounds are getting ripped open. The 84 plus time send, hopefully that comes out. Supplies, anything 84 plus a ton. And you just hop on bids for those fodder and it's, and it's incredible. When you are looking at fodder, any fodder sniping bidding filter, you guys always ask about it. It's extremely simple. All you do is put the price at the price of the fodder. So 84 start price is 1100. So if 84 start price is 1100 coins, I'm literally just going to come here and go, okay, gold rare, obviously, boom, that's, that's their start price. And then you can also do something like this because it just it's just going to be 84s and it gets rid of any random cards in the middle. Obviously, it's the middle of the night. I'm not going to see any maybe 84s unless i go really far out but when you do a filter like this an hour after content drop or whenever there's a lot of supply you're going to get a crap ton of 84s and you can just go bid 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 and you try to bid on as many as you can until the game says you can't bid anymore and then you just when it says you can't bid anymore you go okay let me check how many did i win and you'd be surprised as to how many you win for ridiculously cheap so tomorrow on friday hopefully bids are good and what we're hoping for guys people always ask me every single stream every day for investments which is understandable but the best time to be investing is always the weekend because it's when it's just simple supply and demand there's always so much supply on the weekend you have foot champs you have all the lightning round packs being opened there's a ton of supply and once the weekend's done that supply dries up and there's more demand because we get icon SBCs usually on sunday Casino SBCs, like an 85 double on Monday, 84 times five Tuesday, campaign, year in review, player picks Wednesday, Tuesday, stuff like that. So the fodder tends to rise and the low is on the weekend. And what I'm hoping for is with the 84 times 10, we can see 84s come down in price. Now the price, obviously, I don't want to give any prices right now. I will be giving them on stream. If you join my stream, I try to put something like this up. Boom. That's what we had all weekend. Invest in 84s. 1500 list for 2000 85 37 team of the week's 32 pretty simple i will try to get something like that if you join the stream i'll have it up i'm not going to give any prices right now because I, I can't predict what they come down to or if they come down at all but i'm hoping 84 times 10 lightning round and 84s can go below 2k again if 84s go below 2000 coins again i'll try to buy as many as i can i'm going on vacation my last day is saturday i leave sunday morning if I can buy a crap ton of 84s before I leave, I would love to do that. Or Team of the Weeks. I could do Team of the Weeks. But I think buy time for Team of the Weeks this weekend could be on Sunday. And um, I guess we'll go into that. Yeah, we'll go into Team of the Weeks. But before I move on to the Team of the Weeks, I'm hoping fodder gets low again this weekend. 84 times 10 would be great. That, that SBC supplies fodder so much. It makes bids very easy. You saw with those 86s. It's incredible. I don't expect it like last week though, just because the supply is not going to be as crazy, not as much hype because it's week two of a promo, week one of a promo. There's a lot more hype, new promo. People are excited, open more packs. So that is my take on fodder. We're going to wait. We should be able to full send stuff this weekend. I'll give you guys prices in tomorrow's video, but I'm letting you know in tonight's video, I can't really predict, but we should be able to full send. Should be really easy, stupid easy. Um, so on to team of the weeks. Uh, 
this is kind of expected content as well. Expected content this weekend. We know how it usually goes. EA tend to go Icon SBC, Hero SBC, Icon SBC, Hero SBC. Now, I don't know what they're going to be able to do for a Hero SBC. They're probably going to have to throw promo heroes into it to make it decent. Maybe they'll do that. But like, it, it could be a player pick as well because there's nothing in the pack code for player picks. Player picks don't get added to the pack code. And there's no new type of Hero SBC that's in the pack code at the moment. But maybe it gets added. It usually goes icon hero, icon hero. And whenever it's an icon SBC, you don't see stuff move as much. And you don't really see too many team of the week requirements because the hero SBCs, yeah, the hero SBCs don't usually require team of the weeks. Or if they do, it's not that hype. There's not as many people doing it because heroes are kind of, the base heroes at least, are behind the power curve. Icons are a lot better this year. The icon player picks and stuff people are doing, they're more expensive and the team of the weeks are getting required. So... When that happens, I always tell you guys, buy day for Team of the Weeks is Friday, Saturday, Sunday. The low is for Team of the Weeks is on Sunday if the SBC that comes out on Sunday doesn't require Team of the Weeks. Or if it does require Team of the Weeks, it's a crappy SBC. So if we get no leaks, I think maybe wait to buy Team of the Weeks on Sunday after content drop to see if we get a crappy SBC, no Team of the Week requirement, something like that. But we'll, we'll keep an eye on it because, I mean, to be honest, where's this 83 times 10? This 83 times 10, yeah, I would wait. I would definitely wait because they're not going to release another type of 83 times 10 SBC while this one is currently out. So I think waiting till Sunday is probably going to be a good move. And maybe bef when this one expires, they re-release it or release something similar to it. We'll see. So I'm just kind of predicting right now. Obviously, it could change, but I'm thinking maybe Team of the Weeks will look to buy on Sunday and 84, stuff like that, Friday at 83 84 85 86 i'm not really touching the high rated fodder too much right now it's not doing good but 83 to 86 overall cards friday saturday and you can do sunday as well as my guess for the buy time uh where else are we at easiest move is always investing on the weekend i'll have prices posted on stream my twitch stream is in the description down below expected content we talked about how it's maybe going to be a hero sbc we do have ian Wright tomorrow this sbc should be coming out again tomorrow as well um Obviously, tomorrow, Team 2 slash 3 of Winter Wildcard. We've already gone over all those leaks, but I'll pull up Foot Sheriff on Twitter if you haven't seen it. And we'll go boom. I will say uh, we are probably getting an Evo tomorrow. I think Foot Police tweeted about it. It might be the center mid one. I don't know if you guys have seen it, but he randomly came out. He didn't tweet the requirements, but he said, I believe he said, seems like a center mid Evo is coming out tomorrow on Friday and randomly Jude Bellingham flew in price. The dude is 86 overall fodder, but you can see right here, he went from 8,500 coins to 14K. So maybe he fits it potentially. We'll see. Um, like I said, I, I don't touch Evo trading too much, but keep an eye on it. If it's a really good Evo at content drop and it looks like Jude Bellingham is crazy, by Jude Bellingham immediately, kind of like we said with Kyle Walker, but we don't know what the upgrade is like, so there's no news at the moment. Now, uh, just to go over all the leaks for Winter Wildcard team, we have Rabiot, Courtois. Courtois is going to be a crazy investment. I told you guys, whenever there's a good goalkeeper, a good promo goalkeeper, or, or a special goalkeeper, they do so good out of packs. If you're okay with just holding one in your team or buying a ton and holding for a few weeks, remember Ter Stegen. I told you guys, dude probably does extremely good out of packs. What happened? Ter Stegen was 70k. I think three weeks later, 120K. So Courtois is even better, even better. So this is going to be such an easy investment or just a purchase for your team and hold and just not even worry about it. So I love that. Going to be really good. His gold could rise out of packs. Not too sure how crazy it would be. He's already up at 57. It's too late. He was down at like 54 again and we were saying you could buy at 53, but obviously that ship has sailed. Raspador is getting a card. Uh, Renato Sanchez, Kunde. There's the Kunde we talked about. Becker, Saliba, and yeah, we, we've already seen these. Mo Salah and Casemiro. So we've already seen those. Anything else? Um, oh yeah, some icons are missing as well. Like Dennis Bergkamp was leaked to get a card. There were a few icons that were leaked to be in Winter Wild Card and it never came. So I'm assuming they're going to come with team this team three, I guess it's called. I don't even think it's team two. I think it's team three. So we'll see. But that's it for this video. If you guys have any questions, comment section down below. My trading Discord in my Twitch live stream description down below. If you want to join the VIP trading section of my Discord, all you have to do is sub to my Twitch channel. If you have Amazon Prime, you can subscribe for free and join the VIP Discord for free every single month. 
that is it. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. I'll see you all in the next one. Peace.